So let's have a practical hands-on look on how to find Mount Barrington on our Barrington Tops map. First of all, we'll make sure that we've got the uh, correct map, as you can see there, and then we'll open it up. And what I've done here is I've taken the liberty of pre-marking the uh, grid square that we uh, will find Mount Barrington in with that 20 cent piece that's in centre shot. Let's go and discover a bit more about how to arrive at 493, uh, there it is again, 493.540. So someone's walked up to us and said, can you please take me to the point as represented by 493.540 on the Barrington Tops map. Now, let's first of all go to the bottom of our map. And here we can see a series of numbers in black on the bottom. And the square we're interested in lies between the numeral 49 on the left and the numeral 50 on the right. Remembering that, that the first three numbers in that groove reference were 493. So the square that we're after is in between those two lines. Now let's look at the right hand margin on our map. So there's our 20 cent piece again, uh, pre-representing, I've, I've already pre-marked uh, out the grid square that we're interested in, it just helps me with the camera here. And knowing that the second part of the grid that we're supposed to be looking for is denoted by 540. So we already know about the 49, we've, we've got our grid square 49, we're now looking for 54. And over there on the right hand margin of the map we have uh, again black numerals and if we look right there we have 5-4 at the bottom of the shot, of the shot and 5-5 five, five at the top of the shot. So the square that we're interested in is, is that square bounded by 5-4 five, and 5-5 five, five. and when we, we zoom right out so at the bottom we had the, the square denoted by 49 and 50 and on the right hand side 54 and 55 and the square that we're looking for Mount Barrington in is right there, that square there. Now whereabouts in that square because these squares on these 1 to 25,000 maps that's one kilometre by one kilometre and somewhere in there, I mean you can actually see it at the bottom of the 20 cent piece but uh, for the sake of argument whereabouts within that square kilometre is Mount Barrington. Now what I have done in the past is I have uh, purchased a map reading guide, How to Use Topographic Maps. Uh, this particular one was published by Oslig, the predecessor to Geoscience, and it's got a raft of great information in it. The publication is still available today. If you googled map reading guide, you will find that uh, currently it is published by Geoscience Australia, and it's available for anywhere between two and five dollars, it all depends on uh, who you wish to go shopping with. Um, besides all that lovely information, they also give you this uh, terrific little grid calculator. And on there we have one to 25,000, one to 250,000 and one to 50,000, plus a uh, protractor to get your bearings. But for the sake of this particular little segment's um, objective, we're looking at that blue grid right in centre shot now and I'll show you now what I'm going to do with this blue grid. This tool is not really necessary um, but uh, it will help to point out how these grids are arrived at and how to interpret them. So now what I've done is I've uh, taken that little piece of clear plastic and I've overlaid it on the map. I've overlaid that uh, grid that hatching you can see there over the grid square where I know that Mount Barrington is in. Now remembering that the coordinates we're looking for are 493540 and the, we see that the left hand side of this matrix is resting on the 49 line and the bottom of this line of this matrix is resting on the 54 line. So with the first part of the grid being 493 and this particular uh, one kilometer square now being divided up into 100 meter segments because there's 10 across and 10 down so it's now divided up into um, 100 meter segments. So if we count from the left three of those segments 
that'll give us our three. That's what the three means. Three tenths of a kilometre from the four nine line on the left. So it'll be, uh, if we drew a line, if you can, you can see the numeric seven up at the top, if we drew a line down through that, and the, the second part of the grid is five four zero. So we're resting on the five four line. What the zero is telling us is you don't have to go anywhere else. What you're looking for is on the five four line. So when we remove this uh, piece of plastic, we can see here that our friend Mount Barrington is uh, just to the right of the 49 line on the left. So it's 49 and 3 tenths of a kilometre from the left hand line. And it's right on the 54 line at the bottom, hence the second part of the grid, which was 540. So there you have it. That, that just deals with the example of Mount Barrington. So someone's walked up to you in the camp and they've said, take me to 493540. And that's how we arrive at the point on the map known as 493540 or Mount Barrington. What I'd like to point out uh, again is that this tool is not really necessary. I just used it in this particular example just to show you how those grid squares are divided up. Uh, out in the field, points on maps are arrived at uh, informally just by running your eye over the map and recognising that a, a grid square is one kilometre by one kilometre and that the third digit in any set of three numbers represents how many hundred metre increments you have to come across that grid square to arrive at the point that you're aiming for.